Welcome back to part two. In part one, we left off with the ball hitting the paddle that we made. You can see that right here. And so just to recap a little bit, we used parcel to run our game. So in our VS Code terminal here, to run our game, we do npm run start. That creates a local dev server for us to see our game. And so it is at localhost 8000. You can see it right here. Localhost 8000, that's where we are here. So that was set up in our package.json here. This is the start script. And we tell Parcel to run our index.html page at port 8000. So do refer back to the other video to set up if you need it. So now we're going to make this paddle move. So in our game.js scene in the scenes folder, we left off creating this rectangle that is our paddle. So now in order to make it move, we need keyboard input. So we're going to use the arrow keys up and down to move the paddle up and down. Now to do that, we need to use Phaser's keyboard input system. So it should be this dot input keyboard create cursor keys. So create cursor keys creates a default set of cursor keys, the up, left, right, and down arrow keys. Now we can find this in the Phaser docs. If we go to classes, so it's going to be phaser.input.keyboard keyboard plugin and create cursor keys. Here it is. You can also just simply search for create cursor keys in the docs and you'll be directed to the keyboard plugin. So what this does, it returns the four high keys up, down, left, and right, and spacebar and shift. So we're only going to use up and down here, but we're going to just create these cursor keys, and then we're going to so no, we're in, we're just going to set this dot cursors to that, and then we can access the up and down keys. So we're in a scene, and now every scene has preload or can have preload, create as well as update. In the update, we're going to check the cursor keys. This dot cursor dot, so let's say up, dot is down. So if we are pressing the down key, we should move our paddle. So our paddle is a local variable in create, so we can't touch it in update. So let's make it a class property. So this dot paddle, and then we got to change this and change this. That may be right. So here we'll just do console.log up pressed so that we can make sure what we're doing is working. Let's bring up the console. All right. So it is not doing anything. Let's make sure it is going into update. So let's see. There we go. Up pressed. All right. So up is pressed. So this is up pressed. So we see that that works. So else, if this dot cursors dot down is down, this is down pressed. So let's do that. So up pressed, down pressed, up pressed, down pressed. So before you saw that it wasn't working while I was pressing those keys. So in parcel, if you start and if you stop and start the server again, sometimes you'll have to refresh. So that's something to keep in mind. All right. So now we have the cursor keys working. We have our paddle that still seems to be working. So when we press down, we want this dot paddle f dot. Let's say, let's just say set velocity. Set velocity. 
velocity y. And we want to move it up. And up is negative number. So let's say negative 100. And then when we're going down, positive 100. If we're doing nothing, we will set the velocity to 0. Let's see if that works. Uh -huh, no. OK, it should be on the body. OK, so we're going to use this like we did previously to get better IntelliSense here. So let's uncomment that. This dot paddle left. And then body. Just check. Set velocity y minus 100. Great. And this will be by dot. And this will be body dot. So you see, we set the body variable here to this dot paddle left dot body. And just as a reminder, this is to tell VS Code right here at type to tell VS Code that body is of type phaser dot physics dot arcade dot body. This helps us get better uh, help from VS Code when we try to find variables like this. So there's set bounds, set velocity, set circle. That's you know different kinds of things we can do. It'll give us more help. You can find all this in the docs as well. Okay, body set velocity y is not a function. Is it not? Well, let's see. Let's comment this out. That's the problem. And when we press this, let's do console.dir body. Let's see what we get. We get something and we get an error. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So why is this happening? Static body. That's right. We change it to static body. So let's make this more accurate. Static body. Right, there is no velocity on a static body. No, there is, but there's no set. Yeah, that's not it. okay. Right, static bodies don't move. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We'll leave that. So we're gonna actually just move the paddle dot y minus equals 10 let's say plus equals 10 that's going down and then we don't need this okay up as you can see we are moving the game object but the bounds the physics bounds is still there right so that's now moving now we can do dot update from game object. So that will update the physics box to wherever we moved our rectangle. So here, we'll see if we just avoid the ball, it's gonna pass us and not hit anything. And now we're back here and it should hit. Boom, there we go. So that is moving the paddle now come back for part three, where we'll look at putting in the AI paddle.